Hello, Collective. I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm divinely destined, by the way, and I'm here to give us a message. Hey, I say us. I'm a part of the Collective, too. The message will be general, honey. So always remember that, honey. Take what you need. Leave the rest. I want to say thank you for subscribing to the channel. I really, really appreciate it. Yes, please like the video. Share the video. Yes, it will be a timeless message. So whenever you see it, okay, there's no coincidence. There's no accidents. You may not see this video for another 30 days after it's originally published. Yeah, I see eight days here, four days, nine days. Whenever you see the message, honey, uh, take what you need and leave the rest. Don't stress yourself out, okay? Don't let tarot stress you out, okay? Take what you need and learn how to click off the video and keep it moving. Yes, I really, really appreciate uh, the support that you've shown this particular channel. Collective. I don't know what's going to come out here, but I do know love is in the air. Okay? You may like the rapper Future. Uh, yeah, his energy is pretty strong today. Yeah, Future is a Scorpio. Scorpio season could be significant. Okay? Yeah, I see financial increases. Okay, I'm hearing big dog status. Okay, that's Future energy. Your Future energy is, uh, you know, big money. Okay? <laughs> high, high status society, perhaps. Yeah, it's very likely, very possible. Yeah, you've had to leave some people behind. Yeah, some people are not worthy. Okay, just understand that. I see 143 here. You may be a male watching this particular uh, message today, tonight. Yeah, male or female, just take the message how it resonates. Yes, I see the emperor energy here. Yeah, you could be a daddy's girl. I feel, I feel like, yeah, you're, you're God's daughter here. Okay, mm -hmm. so that, that, makes you, that makes you daddy's girl here, okay? Our Heavenly Father is going to ensure that you receive something, okay? Period. It's just facts. It's, it's just not even that hard to comprehend. It's not hard to comprehend at all. It's common sense. He sees how hard we've been working, okay? God already sees. He sees. Mm -hmm. He wants you to be happy. The Three of Cups lets me know it, okay? Our Heavenly Father wants you to be happy. Yeah, you may be getting a new house. You may be getting some money to relocate, you know, just to catch up on some bills, perhaps. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles lets me know that it's some sort, some sort of money that you're going to be receiving. This could help further you here in life in whatever way that means for you. Okay, more stability is certainly here. I know it's God here because the Emperor is God, okay? The Emperor is our heavenly father the queen of pentacles is his daughter okay is his son okay god is saying hey i'm gonna get you this okay this is going to help you be more stable here okay this is going to help you get to the next stage this is something that you actually deserve because you've been putting the work in to receive it you may be uh <laughs> you may be getting ready to purchase a lexus you may own a uh, 2023 20, Lexus here. Okay, you may be getting ready to purchase one. Congratulations. Yes, be happy. Okay, I think uh, God is God is going to blow your mind with something that he's doing here. You're his angel here. Go study angels, uh, incarnated angels, um, earth angels, if you have some time today. They're breathtaking, okay? And it's just not about their physical body, okay? It's their energy, it's their essence, it's their light. It's their anointing that make them so freaking attractive. Yeah. Mm. I'm hearing you're humble. You're a humble person here. You may be an Aries. Yes, our Heavenly Father wants to give you the desires of your heart. He tells us that, okay? Period. I thank God has seen you be patient through something here. Or you need to be patient. God is going to take care of it. Yeah. You, you may like the actress Kathy Bates. Okay, she's a phenomenal actress, by the way. Okay, yeah, you're being called to uh, be patient. Our Heavenly Father know your needs. You may be 33 years old. 33 is our Heavenly Father, by the way. <laughs> the energies will always match up. I see the Ace of Wands, Emperor. That's our Heavenly Father. Bless us, Heavenly Father. Here we are. He got a blessing with your name on it. It's your blessing. Period. It's your blessing. Dang, there is some sort of restoration here. 
Yeah, our Heavenly Father, our Heavenly Father balancing out the scales here for you, okay? Perhaps you've been struggling financially, okay? Who hasn't? There's a lot of people that do. Yeah, there's a lot of people that's old, they're just due too. You may be one of them. Take the message how it resonates. There is a balance that's going to be had here. There's, there's some sort of balance here. Yeah, things have been unbalanced or perhaps it was very intentionally done okay somebody calls the injustice to you our heavenly father is going to rectify the situation by balancing out the scales here wow looks like he's blocking something here wow god blocked the tower here somebody tried to send some sort of uh you know negative energy your way or somebody tried to call some sort of injustice or imbalance in our heavenly father he blocked it this could be regarding your stability okay <sighs> doing your best to become more stable okay somebody tried to send you a tower god blocked it here you don't see this you don't know this or you may not know the severity you may not know the severity of uh what god has protected you from here i see 616 isn't that tupac birthday okay this could be a gemini here that's been sending you some negative energy or setting some negative intentions into the universe concerning you. Okay, our Heavenly Father. Our Heavenly Father is aware. It's a male. He's aware of this male. Okay, he tried to send a tower to you. God has averted this tower or God blew the tower out the sky perhaps. Okay, he's protecting you here. God is protecting you here. You may be seeing black birds, flies, gnats. Somebody may have been doing some sort of spell work against you, some dark work here, dark spell work to cause some sort of injustice, some sort of imbalance pertaining to your stability here. My goodness, there is something God has blocked here, literally, over the last four days, uh, four weeks, four days, four hours, four months, okay, yes. Looks like that's the corporate here, the king of pentacles, mm-hmm. He's trying to uh, cause uh, disasters to an earth angel, to, to, to God's baby here. That's what the energy is letting me know. To an ace of pentacles. This ace of pentacles is the earth angel that God has here in the world. That this king of pentacles has been trying to block. Or at the very least, he's been trying to cause, or she, them or they, they've been trying to cause some sort of imbalance to your stability. Take the message how it resonates. This could be you. You're attacking people. Okay, you're you're doing things that goes against the will of God. Okay, no nobody is perfect. Okay, but there are just some things here that God is just not going to stand for. Your name may be Laura. Okay, we all have to give account of, of our sins here. Nobody gets away with anything. Just understand that. But God had to directly step in here uh, to... Um, God had to literally step in. Because somebody sent an uh, atomic bomb your way here. And God has uh, blew the bomb out the sky quite literally here. I don't know who this king of pentacles. Who is he? Okay, who is she? Who are they? This could be a married couple. The king and the queen of pentacles are here. These could be wealthy people here. That are trying to stop you uh, in some way or another here. They have some sort of vendetta against you. Very likely. This could be a couple, a married couple, or, or a couple of different people that are wealthy. Okay, or they had, uh, they may have had some sort of wealth at some point. Okay, maybe they, maybe they went, maybe they went broke. Okay, the possibility is very real here. God is protecting you here with the seven of wands from this person here, from these people. Remember to take the message how it resonates. You may be a Sagittarius. Sagittarius season could be significant. Somebody keeps taking these bold steps to cause an injustice against an earth angel. And God is continuously keeping his earth angel safe from this uh, deceptive person that wants to see uh, an earth angel have some sort of imbalance. Okay? Injustice committed against them. It just don't make no sense. There's no rhyme or reason to this. This is somebody that's practicing the dark arts. That's what the energy is letting me know. You see the Five of Cups? Mm -hmm. They want you to be sad here. 
Mm. I don't know your living situation at this time, okay? I don't know your financial situation at this time. If you, but if you do know, God is here. If you do know you've been giving it your all collective, okay? You've been you've been doing your best. You've been you you've been you've been putting yourself out there. You've been putting yourself out there in a good way, okay? You've been letting God know, you've been letting your spiritual team know, okay? You're putting your best foot forward here to bring about uh some great stability for you and your family. God is aware of that. There's somebody that could 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 still be working against you today or or take the message how it resonates. At some point you had somebody here uh working against you, causing great sadness here. Looks like wow. It's are these some sort of time ass spells here? Or these are spells they've done months ago and they're just hitting you, or this is what they were hoping. Looks like they were just sitting back waiting here. Okay, it looks like it looks like these people are uh very, very, very calculated and premeditated individuals. Yeah, your ancestors are here. Yes, I see one 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 one. That's always ancestors. You could be a twin flame here, uh Earth Angel here. That others have mistreated here in an extreme way. Mm-hmm. Money was paid out to to bring about some sort of instability or imbalance to your stability. The energies just don't lie. This is a heavy betrayal here. Okay, it's a betrayal against God here. Okay. It really is. Our Heavenly Father, He tells us, don't be lazy. Work for what you want, okay? Make sure you let your petitions be known to Him. You carry out your mission. Okay, make sure you ask God what your mission is, okay? Do your best. I feel like you've been doing your best here and you've been having somebody working against you. I see a couple here or a couple of different people. Okay, this could just be something you've encountered for a long time here. You've always had heavy opposition. Okay, take the message how it resonates. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Take what you need from the message and leave the rest. You're a twin flame. I see 1111 and I see 1218. Somebody's a twin flame here. Earth angel. There's a twin flame earth angel that's been under heavy scrutiny and attack. And there's been some injustices committed against this beautiful soul here. I still don't see the reason why. Okay. I don't see it. It looks like there's some sort of stagnant stagnation here. Or stagnancy. That was intentionally caused by somebody that didn't want you to have money, success opportunity you know the energy is here yeah the betrayal led they were hoping that the betrayal would lead lead you to the five of pentacles in the poorhouse so this king of pentacles queen of pentacles they were doing things in the background uh to cause some sort of injustice once again to your stability hoping and wishing and praying i guess for for the day to come where you would be on the street broke okay or going going without here the energies don't lie my goodness. Somebody actually wanted an earth angel uh, to be broke, to be poor, to be homeless, to have some sort of instability in one way or another. Mm. I don't know how many spells they've done. If spells were involved, okay, it looks like there was definitely uh, spells involved here, okay? But it looks to be uh, some sort of repetitive cycle. Uh, because the energy is still coming up here today. October the 31st is sticking out big time here. They may have something planned for that day. Or perhaps these per perhaps these perps, okay? Yeah, perhaps they done something uh, October last year here. They're paying for it now or they were, still, they were still hoping that something would hit you by October perhaps or by now. Something that they did back in October here. Perhaps they've been attacking you since October. Perhaps they've been, uh, you know, sending you the evil eye since October 2023. The energies don't lie. My goodness gracious. This could be a relative, a female relative. Mm-hmm. You could have different people that have been malicious towards you. The Queen of Swords with the Knight of Swords next to the devil, next to the moon, is a very vicious woman. That is a very vicious woman. That's a very angry, vengeful, I'll get you, woman. 
So you got two people here. I see two. These people could have been working together. Once again, they could have been working together. Take the message how it resonates. You may be getting the Amazon package, okay? Yeah. You should expect good things. You've been working to bring good things into your damn reality, and you're going to get them. You may be at Tiffany's. Uh, you like you like the jewelry store Tiffany's. You may be getting ready to get you some Tiffany's, okay? What girl doesn't love diamonds, okay? But there are some vicious people here. The Knight of Swords next to the Devil is a very, very malicious, evil, or at the very least, they got some big anger issues that they need to work on before someone gets hurt here. Okay, this person was these people. Okay, they 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 need to definitely be restrained, taken off the street. I see one five five five. 5, 10, 15. 15 is 6. The 6 lets me know that this is somebody that you knew at some point or they have an affiliation with someone you knew or these people yeah could be in a community. They could be literally in your community. Okay? I see 16, 16. There's something about Tupac. Okay? Yeah. My goodness. So these people went in the spirit doing dark work. They had dark intentions period. The Eight of Wands backs me. There was some sort of spell work here. It looks like this. This these people have been uh, maintaining some sort of spell work on you for a long time here. They, they are literally trying to force uh, they're trying to force something that's just not meant to be forced. This, this, this kind of like going against the laws of gravity and the laws of nature and it goes against uh, your your life and your life mission and, and what God, uh, his order is in your life. And, you know, God is at the helm. He should be, number one. Okay, it's going against all that here. It's not natural. Okay, you may be struggling financially today. It's not natural. It's not for no natural damn reason, especially when you know you've been doing everything. You should or you could. Okay. Yeah, these people feel like you should be broke. You should be struggling financially. That's their intention. That's the intent here, okay? Once again, I don't know who these people are, but I see a male and a female here, okay? How do you know this male? How do you know this female? I don't know. How did you encounter them? I'm not sure, but the energy is here, okay? If it doesn't apply, let it fly once again. Like, how do you put work into making somebody go broke? Why would they want to do that to you? Okay, why? I still don't see why. This is the second time I ask why. Okay, I don't, I don't, I'm not getting any, any good reason as to why. I'm not getting any reason as to why somebody would want you to be uh, in, uh, facing some sort of instability here in life. Period. They've been working hard to slow you down, slow your money down, slow, slow any kind of money prospects down here. Okay, I see why now. The King of Cups. The King of Cups. Okay, somebody's in their feelings over your success, your stability. Okay. They're envious. They're jealous. That's the reason. It's not a good enough reason. It's just not. Okay. Yeah. I'm hearing they didn't even really need a reason. Okay, a hater is just a fucking hater. Okay, they're going to hate. Yeah, I see the four of pentacles. I'm just going to keep it moving. There's just no rhyme and reason for it. Okay. You got people that are in their 40s attacking you. Come on, bro. 40s, 30s, 40s and 30s and 40 years, 40 years old attacking people. You can't keep making that excuse, okay? I'm envious of her. I'm jealous of him. Okay, at some point, this goes beyond jealousy and envy. This is hate. I mean, jealousy and envy, it does cause people to act in hateful ways. Yeah, this would definitely be considered extreme hate because they're attacking your stability or the intent is to cause some sort of instability to your stability. Okay, so that's extreme. Times are hard. Times are extremely hard as it is. Okay, trying to pay for food and lights and, you know, housing is hard enough. And then you got some idiots in the background making things even worse. It's just, it's, it's, it's really unfortunate here. We're being called to hold on, okay? God is aware of this mean, bitter, spiteful, hateful woman, okay? That's been in the background trying to sabotage your damn life here. Yeah, our Heavenly Father is aware. They're not aware that they're attacking an earth angel or a galactic being or, or somebody that God uh, 
literally has in a human form. <laughs> they they are not aware or they don't care. Okay, that would that would mean that they are ignorant. Okay, we should not be ignorant. We should not be willfully ignorant. Okay. Period. Yeah, God is blocking their magic. Yes, they've been waving their wands. Mm-hmm. Demonic spirits here. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, could be three people that's been working over the last three months, three days, three weeks against you. Take the message how it resonates. Uh, it looks like you already know who this person is. Uh huh. You may have some indication, or you know, you may have some suspicions about who they are. You may not know who they are. Some of these people you may not have ever met a day in your life, okay? If you're on social media, you're in a public eye, okay, you have you have status, some sort of public status in life, yeah, they may have just been hating on you, okay? These people could be judging you for your weight, your race, okay, your content, your religious factors, spiritual factors, okay, period. Mm. These people are literally trying to make a... Uh, a very stable individual uh, feel un unsure, uncertain, okay? You could be this stable individual that these people are trying to make feel uncertain here, okay? You've been having financial issues lately? Okay, think about it. There's very strong indication here that um, you've had some dark forces working against you here. Yeah, wow. God has literally blocked the tower. They wanted to do this. He wanted to do this to you. She wanted to do this. Okay, just think about it. You gotta be hateful. Okay, some may write, especially if you don't know them, you're not bothering them, you never done nothing to them. That's weird, okay? It's bizarre. It's very bizarre here. Looks like they were trying to get you evicted. I mean, if they're messing with your money, causing some sort of instability regarding your damn finances, they had to know that that could be a real possibility. But God has spared you. God is protecting you from these vicious-ass people here. Wow, with their ill-ass intent here. Wow, God see you working on something here. Okay? My goodness gracious. And remember, it doesn't just have to be one person. It may be a hidden enemy. It may be many, many different hidden enemies. That's the, that's the sad part about it. Okay? You may like to read here. You may be an author. You may be meant to write uh, your story here. There's an auto autobiography. You may you may end up writing about your life. Yeah. Wow, you were heavily betrayed here. Okay. My goodness. It's the betrayal against God here. Point blank. Period. Yeah. It looks like you're out of the way here. You're minding your business. Okay. <laughs> Taking care of yourself and your family here, and you got some sociopath. Socio sociopathic lunatics in the background trying to destroy your life man these people may need nurses they may need doctors they may need medical medical assistance okay now they may need it now this could be mental health okay assessments yeah it's something going on yeah I see the strength card that's uh, current energy here we are in Leo season yeah this is a uh, this could have been a uh, this could have been a, a malignant narcissist. The strength card with the six of wands is a malignant narcissist. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they premeditated. So they planned this. You know the energy. The drama, the chaos, the conflict was planned out by a malignant narcissist that wanted to see you uh, not be successful here in life. They still don't. <laughs> wow, this, this is a premeditated person here. The death energy with the seven of swords, they try to plan some catastrophic loss for you. And God has blocked it. Period. You may be at the library. You may be studying. Okay, I see a quiet person here that don't bother nobody, bro. This is unwarranted here. It's unjustified. It's just sens it's senseless. You know how you hear those you hear about senseless killings, senseless crimes? This is a senseless crime here. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm hearing extreme. This is an extreme predator here. It was predatory. Pred predatorial what they done. Okay. He's a predator. She's a predator. They preyed upon you. Okay, that's the energy. Yeah. 
Mm. There's something about rituals here, ritualistic or something like that. I'm not going to go too far into that. Just understand that our Heavenly Father is aware. Okay. There may be physical evidence and documentation. Okay. Yep. It is spiritually. The Six of Swords says, hell yeah, there's a lot of spiritual evidence. With the Justice energy, so yeah, Archangel Metatron is here. The Justice energy, the Six of Swords and the Three of Swords is Archangel Metatron, period. It's already been um, recorded. Okay, it's spiritually known. Wow, this could be a couple. Yeah, I feel like this is a couple here. These, these, these are some pretty vicious people here. Okay, they, they, they commit some heinous crimes spirit, spiritually. Okay. Mm. They could be at the beach, the ocean. They may have a, a catastrophe at the ocean. Okay. They may have been doing water magic, fire magic. You know, collective, it's just, it's, it's a really, really sad situation here. My goodness, very deceptive here. These people do spells, you know, they get up, they go to work, they go grocery shopping. You will never know that they're in the background trying to ruin somebody's life, trying to cause major instability to to a, to, a, to somebody that's just not bothering them. Do you know how weird you got to be? It's very, very creepy. Like, Divine Feminine don't know you. Divine Masculine, you don't know you. He hasn't spoken to you. She hasn't spoken to you. You don't exist to them, okay? You're not in their world. You blew some sort of opportunity to be in their world. Or for whatever reason, the situation with you and them didn't work out. Okay, Divine Masculine, he goes on about his life. Divine Feminine, she goes on about her damn business. She goes on about her life. And then you got some idiot maniac in the background trying to sabotage. Can you imagine? No, we can't imagine Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. We just can't imagine it. Okay, because we can't, we can't comprehend or understand their mindset. Okay, we're not haters. We're not envious. We're not covetous. These people have been coveting your life. Things that God said you could have, they've been trying to covet. Okay, God says do not covet. Yeah, don't covet that man car. That's not your car. Don't covet that lady or anything that belongs to that lady. It's not yours. Okay, somebody overstepped their boundaries when it came to an earth angel here big time everybody's not an earth angel everybody is not everybody is not a divine feminine everybody is not a divine masculine everybody is not divine okay but this person is okay they're they they have a special anointing okay there's something about the silver back okay he's coming through he may be your spirit animal okay very powerful being very very majestic being okay there's something about his ferocity, the silk, the male silverback, okay? Glor uh, gorilla, he's coming through here. Yeah. <laughs> so I see, uh, yeah. Mm. I'm picking up on the male lion and the silverback, okay? The clash of the titans. That type of energy is here. I just feel like the male lion and the male uh, silverback is just saying, hey, you just these are some ferocious people that came up against you here. They came at you with a ferocity here, okay? Mm-hmm. And God has kept you safe. He's keeping you safe here, period. Some sort of vicious-ass couple. They married? Mm-hmm. They've been trying to stop you from getting married. They, they agreed to, to block some sort of marriage, period. The energy is here. Mm-hmm. You may see the silverback or the male lion in your dreams, okay? Don't be afraid, <laughs> okay? Yeah, take it as a take that as an honor. That's an honor, okay? These people may be in court. I'm hearing yes, you honor. They got to answer to God here. They may they may be going on. You know, you never know. You never know these type of these type of extreme situations. You don't know the paranormal aspect of it, okay? You don't know, you know, you, they could have angels, all kind of supernatural occurrences that happen to them because they decided to target um, one of God's beloved, okay, his beloved. I feel like God take this personal. He took this personal here, okay? It's, you know, it's, it's, it's heartbreaking when you're just minding your business. So you can imagine that God definitely does take it personal here. You're not bothering these damn people. You don't even know they exist. 
Yep, I see the sun card. That's our Heavenly Father. That's our Heavenly Father. Bless us, Heavenly Father. God sees the stress with the Nine of Swords. Mm-hmm. I see the Four of Cups. You could have been born in 1994. These people may have been targeting you for four, I see four to nine years. This could be somebody that's poor, okay, impoverished, that is trying to in, uh, inhibit or restrict, restrict you from um, breaking out of poverty, perhaps. Yeah, your name may be Tiffany here. My goodness gracious. There's something about Louis Vuitton, Tiffany, okay. Yeah, that's just, that's just what it is. You're meant to have it, period. You may like Tony Braxton. I'm picking up on heavy Libra energy today, okay. Who doesn't love the legendary Tony Braxton, okay. Period. You got, you got, you, God wants to spoil you, okay. Period. Let him. You deserve it. Period. Somebody's been trying to leave you hanging for a long time. Like God is just going to forget about you. Okay. Yeah. We're going to just snuff her out. God doesn't care. God is not going to be aware. God is not going to do nothing. These people are delusional and out of their damn mind if they think that. You're earth angel. You're God's baby. He's never going to forget you. Nor forsake you. Nor leave you. Nor abandon you. Nor let your enemies overtake you. Yeah, these narcissists, these narcissistic a-holes, these narcissistic bums, okay? I don't care how much money they got. What they did here or the intentions that they have, it's, that, that's, that's, that's some low vibing stuff, okay? They don't got no real business about themselves. Or they don't carry themselves, they don't carry themselves uh, in that way, Okay? Man, you may have said some things here. Divine Feminine, you may have said some things, Divine Masculine, that came true. Okay? Or it will. <laughs> it will. Until you do right by me, everything you think about is going to fail. And it's been failing too. Okay? <laughs> Man, our Heavenly Father is the King of Wands. Okay? Yep, with the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Swords. Mm-hmm. He's kept you safe. He's keeping you safe. Period. That's the honest to God truth. You're gifted. There are certain things that just will never be revealed about you. Yeah. Dang, it's kind of like God says, it's kind of like God is saying, dang, you know, I'm getting like God is, God is saying you're supposed to respect her. You're supposed to respect him. They don't have to, um, they don't have to, they don't have to beat their chest to get respect. They don't have to be loud. They don't have to be nasty. They don't have to be wicked. They don't have to be evil. They don't have to overexert anything to get respect. Okay, they don't have to prove anything to you to get respect. These, these are my children and they should be respected. Okay, yeah, you disrespected her, you disrespected him, you're disrespecting him, you're disrespecting her, you're disrespecting me. Okay, God is not playing, he's not playing. Dang, this is really sad here. My goodness, oh boy. So you may be someone that's kind of like shy, quiet, kind of meek-like, okay? You're not loud. You're not boisterous. Uh, you don't like drama. You don't like to be nowhere near chaos or conflict. And maybe maybe some of these, maybe some of these people took, took that as a sign of weakness here. Your kindness was taken as a weakness here for sure. You may like the singer Seal here, S-E-A-L. There's something about a silverback, the male lion, and the male seal. Okay, period. Man, you're supposed to be protected by the very person that betrayed you. That energy is here. Dang, you may be from Beverly Hills. You may be a medical professional. You may be meant to be, period. You may be getting a lot of discounts. It just may be uh, God's way of saying, hey, I see you. I know you're trying, period. You may be getting discounts on your gas. Just, you know, just some cool stuff that you deserve, period. You're going to be like, wait, how did that happen? You just understand that God is in control here. The ancestors have a lot of respect for you, okay? You've made them proud. You're not perfect. You're, you're human, okay? You're in the human body, I'll say. <laughs> Oh, another thoughtful plan has failed yet again. They're still at it. 
Okay? Some some people are. They're still at it. They're still at it. Mm -hmm. It's sad. Some of these people have sad endings. They got sad endings. It don't even have to be, but it's just what it is. Yeah, I see this private detective. That's God. I see the judge energy. That's God. Okay? They didn't want you to trust God here. And they're mad that you do. Okay? It's crazy that somebody would be mad about that. Okay? It looks like these people were just looking for anything and everything to hate you for here. Yeah, these are lower vibrational type of beings here. I'm not going to call them human. Okay? Entities. Uh... <laughs> that need healing big time okay i i don't know if a, i don't i don't know how to describe it okay they let some sort of low vibrational or lower level entity take over perhaps okay that energy is here they don't want you to get happy news their old games are not working and people are starting to see that they're full of crap there's no reason for this person to be attacking you it's starting to look real weird okay it's like it's kind of like you don't know this person you don't talk to this person you know, you can imagine some of the people that's surrounding these people. They look weird. Like, you just hating. You know, you can imagine some of their friends, their family members. They can see clearly now. And you're just hating on that girl, that lady, that woman. You just hurt. You just, you just hurt because she don't want you. She don't talk to you. Or you can't get on her level. Or you're not her. Okay, some, some people are just seeing these people as just pure haters. Okay? Mm-hmm. Wow. They may be overeating, over drinking, over sleeping, over sexing at this time, over indulging in, in, in a lot of just toxic ass things. Okay? They incited a spiritual war against an angel. That's the message. And the reason still remains unclear. Okay. But we can we can say that there's envy here. If you want to label that as a reason, okay, envy. It's something about your light, your anointing, okay? I really, really just don't see no justifiable reason. There's no justifiable reason, okay? <laughs> Dang. You have, a, you have a true divine masculine. You have a true divine feminine. You are a true divine masculine. You are a true divine feminine here, period. You're in your divine masculine. You guys could be a, a, of different race. Okay, this could be a scorned lover of yours, Divine Feminine. A scorned lover. Divine Masculine, is, is this a scorned lover of yours that's been seeking some sort of vengeance against you because you left them? You wouldn't put up with their toxic uh, behavior? <laughs> that energy is here. Yeah, God, God, has been watching the, God has been watching them the whole time. My goodness. They may be in a mental institution, they may have recently gotten out of a mental institution or they may have a history of being in and out of mental, mental institutions. They could be in a straight jacket today. Okay, this could be spiritually. They are restrained. Some of these people have lost spiritual gifts. Make no mistake about it. Yeah, this could have been somebody you had an affair with. An affair from hell. I bet you learned your lesson. Don't do that again. Wow, this could be somebody that's tried to interfere with a connection that you're meant to be a part of as well. So take the message how it resonates. Man. You're meant to be on television, they mad. <laughs> you are on television, they mad. You're on social media, they can't stand your, your ass. This could be a Libra going against a Virgo here. Okay. The Libra could be jealous of Virgo's success. Virgos are born to be uh, wealthy. I mean, it's just common sense. Virgos, Virgos are they represent the house of work. You're not going to outwork them. They're more determined than you. Go see what Virgo is in your chart. <laughs> okay. Your name may be Tim, Timothy. Timothy, there's a Roy. His name could be Roy. He's coming up against you here. Mm hmm. <laughs> A chosen one definitely was targeted here. Yep, out of sure hate. This is hate. Okay. Yep. This is extreme hate and malice towards an angel. That's what I see here. And the only reason 
I mean, if you want to give it a reason, if you want to call it a reason, I see envy here. Yeah, these narcissists, they just can't believe how things turned out. Okay, they just never, they never would have thought it would just happen like this. What, well, what the fuck? What did they think? How did they think it was going to happen? They may have killed you in a past life and they tried to do it again in this life. But you have an Avenger angel that came to your rescue. Yep, that energy is here. My goodness gracious. They judged you. Somebody misjudged you. You know how they say don't judge a book by the cover? Yeah, they judged the hell out of you. They didn't open up that book and read it. They didn't even, they didn't even attempt to read. They may not know how to read. This could be somebody that has contracted HIV. Very likely. They burned a lot of bridges with God here when they targeted you. Period. They may be crying out for his mercy. They may be crying out for his mer mercy. It looks like they're scared of a death angel here. Excuse me. They're scared of the reaper. Excuse me. They are scared of him. They tried to send him to you. I think the reaper loves you, divine feminine. <laughs> okay. The death angel. Yeah, you, you, you know him. Okay. You are a angel. You... Your earth angel <laughs> you fall under his jurisdiction of protection like these people don't understand just basic common sense <laughs> it's just common sense my goodness they have they may have done some sort of weird ass human experiment on you man inhumane medical practices used by some unhealed traumatized uh, people here He's the problem. She is the problem here. My goodness. We're still in that new moon energy. You may still be feeling the effects of the new moon energy. Okay, I feel like the energy is good. Okay, our Heavenly Father wants uh, us to get our rest and continue to persevere and move forward. He know these people. He know what they're doing. He know their hearts. He know their plans. He know their motive. Okay. Looks like they've been begging for mercy. Looks like your ancestors could definitely be on some devil time here, okay? They're not playing with these devils, okay? Period. Virgo, you have powerful silence. Yeah, perhaps, th perhaps this is an ex. And, you know, you stopped communicating or you didn't feel the need to chase them. Virgos are not going to chase anyone. Hell no. They're just not going to do that. If this person thought you were going to chase them, they were sadly mistaken, especially if you're a Virgo. Virgos don't play that. They're self-sufficient and they're independent. They're not codependent. They don't need you. That's why you should be grateful to God if you have a Virgo. I mean, a good Virgo, a high vibrational Virgo. <laughs> okay, a Virgo that's on the up and up is what you want on your is what you want on your team here. Okay, but they're not going to chase you. They'll let you go. You want to go? Virgo Virgo will hold the door open for you. Okay? Yeah, this this feels like somebody that you have some sort of interest in. Yeah, at some point, this could be a Gemini that's mentally uh, breaking down. Okay, because their attacks against you are not working. Your uh, the mission was to cause some sort of instability, but you're more stable than ever. You just purchased your home. Okay, you may be getting ready to do that. You should expect it. Okay, you are of high honor and great value to our heavenly Father here. Our Heavenly Father is the mature man that's thinking about you. He's made some sort of judgment. He wants you to be wealthy, period. You're his baby, I told you. They may have been trying to keep you in poverty. These people may have been trying to keep you in poverty, uh, make you have to go back to some sort of impoverished lifestyle here. Yeah. They wanted you to be impoverished in bad health so that you wouldn't rise above. Okay, that energy is here. My goodness. They wanted you begging with the unexpected income right here in your community. Mm-hmm. Wow. You may be struggling financially today. And you know what? Once again, there's millions of people around the world that are. Okay? Just continue to do your part. And God is going to do the rest. Period. There are some lovers here that are a couple of thieves that's getting, uh, getting exposed today. Okay? Mm-hmm. They tried to they tried to, to they tried to steal your sudden wealth. Uh you know, they tried to steal something here from you for sudden wealth here. 
They wanted to leave you impoverished and in poverty. Okay, while they rolled off in the sunset here. These these people are depraved. Of, they are depraved of heart. <laughs> they are depraved of heart. These 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 are these are these this this is not your average everyday human being right here. These motherfuckers are inhumane. They belong in some sort of institution, whether that's a mental institution, uh, a, a prison institution. Okay, that's where they belong. That may be where they're headed. Okay, with the courthouse energy being here. You 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 know what, divine feminine, you are the gift. Divine masculine, you are the gift here. That they wanted to be locked away. It's like these people took advantage of you. That was the intent. These are pathological, narcissistic, gaslighting, uh, neurotic beings, human beings here that try to take advantage of you. Like God wasn't going to come through, like God wasn't going to notice, or like God wasn't going to save you, or like God was just going to let them uh, just destroy you. These people are not human. There's something about them being inhumane. There's something about these people uh, uh, having some sort of really, really dark shit operating through them. Wow, I see this toil and labor here with the courthouse next to the coffin. Perhaps they have some sort of insurance policy or some sort of... They were expecting to cash out on something here with the courthouse energy. These are thieves. Mm-hmm. They were trying to definitely take something from you. This could be your divine masculine that they were trying to get locked up. They were trying to get divine masculine locked up here. These, I'm getting Cinderella. You may want to go watch that movie. They were doing, these thieves were doing everything so that you wouldn't come together with this wealthy man here. Mm. Go watch the movie Cinderella. I just want to cry. Oh my God. I'm just speechless here. Yep. My goodness, look at the pathway and distant horizon. Look at these fake-ass motherfuckers. They were expecting to receive some money. Now they got some sort of concern because your courtship is still happening. You're still going to marry your divine masculine. You're still going to marry your divine feminine. You're still going to be with your soulmate who happens to be your twin flame. Dang. It, it looks like they were trying to unalive you and get your divine masculine locked away. There's something going on here. And I don't want to go too far further into that. But that energy is here. Remember to take the message how it resonates. You guys, Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine are the official people here. I told you you're going to marry him. You're meant to. You don't have to. But the energy is here. Take the message how it resonates. You both are of great fortune. This doesn't necessarily have to be physical wealth. This is who you are to God. Okay, this is who you are. This is who you are to God. They may have been doing a lot of heavy throat chakra magic. We are in Mercury retrograde. That heavily impacts the speech as well. Okay. My goodness gracious. There's an ev elevated lifestyle that you're meant to have here. And these people did everything. They were trying to do everything so you wouldn't. Mm. This is really sad here. Let's go ahead and close it out yep forgive your enemies I told you it's about your stability here they were trying to cause some sort of instability to a stable person here they took pride in this with the passion energy here yeah you were dealing with a man that was finessing you divine feminine mm -hmm, trying to get some sort of money he's been trying to finesse the spiritual system here he wants your money <laughs> this person lacks integri integrity Mm -hmm. He could be at a car dealership. He could work for a car dealership. He could have uh, body damage to a vehicle. You were friendly to him? You were friendly to this man, Divine Feminine? Wow. Mm. You were meant to encounter him because God wanted to get justice. I'm sure they've done this to other people. They tried to rob, steal, kill, and destroy an earth angel. Okay, that's what I see here. And once again, take the message how it resonates. It's some sort of uh, wicked ass practitioner. My goodness, you're a twin flame. I told you you're meant to marry your divine masculine. He's wealthy, wealthy in the spirit. Take it easy on yourself at this time, collective. Take it easy at 
at this time. Okay, always take it easy on yourself. Okay, you're supported by God here. Okay, God has been patient with the collective here. Okay, period. Wow, there's something about uh, your beef products, okay? Ground beef is here. Yeah, you may be on a diet here, okay? Mm-hmm. Somebody didn't practice uh, self-love here, okay? This person... This person uh, projected a lot of hate at you, man. Yeah, it looks like they may have even wanted you to gain a lot of weight, okay, so that you wouldn't appear to be attractive to your divine masculine or your divine feminine. That energy is here. This could be one sick-ass woman or one sick-ass man or one sick-ass couple. Yeah, this could be a whole family here. Okay, they had a network. This couple could have a could have had a whole network of people working against you here, behind the scenes. This man, uh, this man and this woman, put their whole family in danger. Man, they put their bloodline in in danger here. His name could be James. Wow. You see the devil here. He put his whole bloodline in danger. My goodness. The devil riding his ass heavy with the strength card. He's looking for God's compassion and love, I told you, and mercy. Mm -hmm. He's on the chopping block. It doesn't feel good. It looks like he's trying to hang on by the hairs of his chinny chin chin. Now it's time to pay up. It's time to pay your fines and your penalties, ma'am, sir. Period. That's the truth. Mm -hmm. They waged a war against God's child. Period. And they need God now. Okay, make it make sense. My goodness. There's some sort of war that this person is meant to stop. Okay, he should have stopped or she should have stopped or they should not have started or they should not have continued. They may be still waging war against you today. Yeah, I see two, 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 two divine feminine energy. Two, two, two is the number six. Okay, somebody you've met at some point here in your life. Okay. You may have been married to them. You may have been living with them. You may have a child with them. You may have wanted to have a life with them, a family with them. This could be a family member. Okay, take the message how it resonates. You know who this person is. This is really, really sick. I see B-O-Y. It's, it's, it's somebody that's highly immature. <laughs> They've been doing death magic on a, a earth angel. It's, it's somebody daddy here. They could be a grandfather. Uh, grandparent is here. Your divine masculine could be like an Avenger angel type of energy here. That's been protecting you, divine feminine. The energy is here. Look, I'm telling you, the seven of wands. Yeah, our heavenly father is protecting you. There's Archangel Michael. The energies don't lie. Dang, you have protection. Just understand that. Your stability is protected. There. <laughs> so our Heavenly Father is the Ace of Wands. Sun energy here. Two of Wands. I told you. Seven of Wands. God is protecting you and your stability. Period. Nobody is going to mess with God. You're just not. Looks like God is personally uh, handling this situation here. Yep. Wow, I just want to cry here. God is personally handling this. He's handling this. Yep, the sun energy, that's God. The emperor, that's God. <laughs> the ace of wands, that's God. The seven of wands, that's God. The two of wands, that's God. The seven of uh, wands, okay, I'm hearing the seven of swords. They don't, see, they don't see that as God protecting you. Okay, but that's what it is. He's the king of wands, too. The magician, the magician with the death energy, you don't want his wrath on your head. There's a couple of lovers here that are in uh, possible Im imminent uh, danger of judgment here. My goodness, you should thank God right now because he's literally protecting you. Is this a couple? These are some really, really sick people. It looks like two really, really sick people came together here. Extremely sick people. This is about as this is about as sick as it comes. Now you got to remember that um, they don't have any feelings here. 
You may be seeing possums. Look at all the animals we're getting today. You know, if you see the possum, just understand that they don't have no remorse. If you see the possum, understand these people have no fucking remorse. That's what he's telling you. They are unapologetic and they lack empathy and they just don't give a fuck. When you see the possum, that's just a confirmation that they don't feel sorry. No, they don't. They feel sorry for uh, the consequences that they have to face, but they don't feel sorry for what they've done to you. I mean, if you just if you if you repeatedly attack someone, you 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 you, you don't feel sorry, okay? <laughs> Do unto others as you would have done to you. Yeah, these type of people that you know, I heard a reader say that they could dish it out, but they can't take it. They could never handle what they've done to you. They could never go through it, but they gotta go through it. They took you through it, okay? What goes around comes around, okay? <laughs> it's just common sense. My goodness. I don't know how much money they have physically had acquired, but it's here. You may be surprised to know that. That could be why you're financially struggling or why you've had such instability regarding your finances here. Mm. Wow. This could be, you know, this definitely could be your ex-husband. This could be the father of your child. There's somebody, baby daddy, they somebody ex-husband. You're a sweetheart to them. You were hoping for some sort of reunion. Okay, at some point, the energy is here. My goodness. Yeah, I told you there's somebody that'd like to read here. I said that opening up the message. There it goes. This person judged you here. They judged the book by the cover. They didn't open the book up and read it here. Or they don't know how to read. Or they misread something here. They didn't read the damn fine print when it came to you. Okay. This person was consistent and loyal to being a rat. Okay. They were consistent with that shit. This could be an Aquarius here that's sick as hell. They need to go get mental. They need to go to a mental asylum. Okay. Big time. This person is not, it's not fit for this type of person to be around any kind of humans. Okay. If a person, uh, you know, if somebody shoots someone, they go to jail. It's the same thing here. This person has been trying to annihilate you spiritually, so they should be in jail. They could already be spiritually restricted and confined. This could be a mother and son working together. <laughs> okay, the energy is here. Uh-huh. This could have been your own mother and your brother working against you, man. The energy is here trying to cause some instability against you. This person may have some issues regarding their mother, their mother and their brother, or a sibling here. And they've been taking their wrath out on you. Okay? There are opportunists. This is an opportunist that saw opportunity to, you know, do what snakes do. <laughs> That's just what it is. An ongoing battle here with the Nine of Wands. Spiritual with the Six of Swords. These people are um, malignant narcissists. Yeah, very competitive individual here. This could be a preacher. This person give inspirational speeches to others. This could be a performer or athlete here. Very competitive individual. I told you they were consistent with their spell work against you. They were consistent or they are consistent and persistent with their malicious gossip about you. Uh, repeated, repeatedly slandering your name. They have made that a consistent uh, effort. They, they've been determined. They may have physical assets that belong to you, some sort of possession of yours they've stolen here. That energy is here. This person may be holding up some sort of court proceedings with their shenanigans and bizarre act antics is here. This could be a Caucasian male. This person wanted some sort of control. They're trying to have some control that they just don't have. This person can't even control the zipper of his pants. I'm sure he has multiple baby moms. Okay, but he's trying to control a whole, a whole, a whole earth angel here. Okay, this person is trying to control and dictate your finances, your financial stability, your security, your financial security. You may, you may have been saving for a, a big purchase like a new house or a new car, a new wardrobe, a new pair of shoes here. This person may know that you need money and they may they may have something that belongs to you that is of great value and they've been withholding it, okay, from you. 
You see God is personally fighting this battle for you. Literally. This person may have liver failure. Some sort of organ failure. Issues with their organs. It may come later. The energy is here. Mm, they could be an alcoholic. They like wrestling. Okay. Something like that. They could be traveling overseas. They could be from overseas. You're trying to move on. You moved on. They've made it damn near impossible for you to live a peaceful life here. The energy is here. This could be a politician. This person could be in the public eye. They have some sort of success, victory already. They could be a celebrity. They could have fame, fortune, supporters. They could have crowds of damn people. They could be in the spotlight. Mm-hmm. Wow. They could have just started a new relationship. Okay. Or they are actively pursuing someone at this time. They could be an addict. Okay, I told you something about that. Something about the uh, some addiction is here. Depression is here. Mental health is here. This person has an ego that is astronomical. He should go work for NASA. Okay, as big as his ego is. I mean, come on, bro. Man, it's it's almost out of space. This person has some sort of obsession with obtaining or stealing or blocking your finances. The energy is here. Period. This person is a cheater. They are codependent. They're in slavery to the devil here. Sexual immortality is here. They are abusive, violent. This person may have physically uh, assaulted you, spiritually assaulted you. This person has a serious issue of letting you go. They may have been paying people to do spells on you here. Seeking assistance from a community, from some sort of support system. This could be their own family. Their wife, their husband, their partner, their children, their mother, their son. They want power and authority and control over your investments, your money. Okay? Dang, they may have been paying big money here to practitioners here. This could be a well-paid practitioner here that was hired as well. This person wanted you to feel overburdened, overloaded, stressed. My goodness. Taken for granted. And it shouldn't have, it shouldn't, this shouldn't have never have happened. Okay? This definitely could be a cousin, a male relative of, of yours. Jealous of your recognition. Jealous because you're an inspiration. Okay? Could be hating on your spirituality, your religious belief. Religious factors are here. Okay? Man, you got hope and faith in the future. You're happy. You want to be. You spread positivity out into the world here. You're healing. You have a healing vibe. This person don't want you to heal generational traumas or curses. Or they're jealous or mad that you are the chosen one in your family. Dang. You could be learning and studying. That is a heavy theme of this particular message today. <laughs> My goodness. You're committed to bettering yourself here, building on your success. Period. You 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 know how to work with the team here. This could be some some somebody that's jealous because you're a leader of uh, uh, at your job here. You're seen in high esteem by leaders at your job here. You're in some sort of authoritative position. This person is jealous of that. My goodness. It's about you getting some sort of recognition and rewards here. Man, you're a high priestess. You're a high priest. They should have left you alone. Man, who is this person? It feels like he came from the pits of hell. She came from straight from the pits of hell. I'm here in Detroit. Oh, excuse me. You're self-sufficient. You're independent. There's something about your financial stability. It saturates this reading here. Yep. There's something about a property here, a house, or... A a large asset here that somebody could be fighting you over they've stolen from you they stole an opportunity from you to get I mean if they're stealing your your money <laughs> of course they they're stealing the opportunity I see a, a, a person that has a thriving business here period very wise mature individual that had that has some immature assholes on their ass here you could be this wise mature individual that had these immature assholes on your ass you're a natural born leader here. Very decisive, very independent, loyal. You're optimistic, okay? 
there was some unexpected income coming in. They've been trying to block that, stop that. They've been trying to steal that. You are an inspiration to others, man. Take the message how it resonates. You know if you're an inspiration or not. You know you're doing you're doing your best to be. I'm picking up on an EMT uh, in the back of a ambulance. Okay, paramedic here. He's in the back of the truck currently. He has on a blue. Is it blue? Blue uniform here. You could be very adventurous here. Man. Somebody made some poor choices. It was a poor poor choice to come up against you or to repeatedly attack you or to repeatedly target you, to repeatedly badmouth you, to repeatedly uh, get others to go against you. That was a bad choice. That was a poor choice. This person may have chose someone else too. That was a poor, poor, that boy is poor, okay? Financially, spiritually. They chose someone else over you and there was a poor choice to do, okay? That was a bad, bad choice. They made it, okay? That was their choice. Wow. This person saw opportunity. I'm telling you, they're opportunists. I see 1616. Go research that angel number. 1616 is uh, 77. 77 is 14. 14 is 5. They got a tower coming. This could be a medical tower that they are currently facing. Some sort of health condition that this person has currently. It looks like a paramedic is being called here, doesn't it? The Two of Wands with the Knight of Swords is uh, the EMT on the way. Period. The energies don't lie. Queen of Swords, she could be considered a paramedic, a doctor, someone that's in an authoritative position. Period. This person could be in the hospital, on the way to the hospital. They could be drunk, high, defiant. That's, this could be mental, mental institution too. This could be uh, this person being forced to go get evaluated forcefully, force, forcibly, due to some erratic behavior that they have exhibited here. That's what the Two of Wands and the Knight of Swords is saying. The energies don't lie. Definitely is a man. The, the, the Ace of Wands, he's defiant with the Seven of Wands. Told you it's a man, look, Emperor. This could happen this Leo season. He could be in a uh, mental institution, the hospital. Could be, um, he could be in the hospital and they're gonna transport him to a mental facility. That energy is here. Your lover, your former lover, love interests. They're the guilty party today. They were heavily attacking your stability here. Trying to cause some sort of injustice to your stability. That's the overall energy of the message today, period. They wanted to have some sort of control and dominion over your finances here. Mighty strange. <laughs> you don't know this person. Uh, you don't, haven't dealt with this person in years, perhaps. That's mighty strange behavior. This person may be in, in a mental institution. Okay? Some sort of jail. Some sort of restriction. Some sort of confinement. Okay? <laughs> Looks like they're getting... Uh, God is getting this person off the street. Okay? Yeah, the Queen of Swords is not going to play with your ass. She's not going to play with you. She's just not. You don't want to fuck with the Queen of Swords. Okay, period. God is good, period. Moving forward. <laughs> this person is going to be forced to take their fucking medication in a mental hospital. They're going to be forced to take their medication in jail. <laughs> okay, this Queen of Swords is going to make sure of it. And she's not going to have no sympathy or pity on his ass. Okay, period. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Is this person in a mental institution or jailhouse facility still thinking about the empress today? That's the energy. It's sad. This person has some sort of mental illness, uh, some sort of something going on with his mind, her mind when it comes to you. They mind. Their mind is all the way fucked up. They can't stop thinking about you. The eight of swords lets me know it. This person could have been born in 1983. <laughs> this person can't stop thinking about hurting you. And that's the problem. You see the King of Swords, he confirms it for me. This person can't stop thinking about the fact that they, they couldn't stop you. They couldn't stop you. They couldn't hurt you. God blocked it. God protected you. That's why they sad. They have, uh, they have malice in their heart and they're a danger. They are a danger to society. The energies don't lie. 
there a danger to Earth, Andrew, here? Somebody from your damn past. Yep, there go that King of Pentacles. How many readers have picked up on a King of Pentacles being the damn devil here? This person was utilizing their money here, their connections, their resources to attack you, to cause some sort of injustice or instability. They may only still be the King of Pentacles because they have been stealing uh, things that belong to you. Okay, stealing your energy, stealing your, your money. Okay, that could be the only reason why they're still the King of Pentacles. Okay, wow. I see the tower here. The tower fell. So the tower hit this person. You may be surprised to find out that this could be somebody in your family. This could be this could be just different people once again. They got a family. They got a tower that's getting ready to hit their family. This could be a health. I'm telling you their health could be could be seriously uh, affected here. This could be mental. This is a strong ass tower they got. The strength card backs it. The tower is being sent sent by God, okay? Yep, they wouldn't leave you alone. She wouldn't leave you alone. I see one, 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 one. They literally got something coming that has been sent by God, and it's not going to be nothing pretty. It looks like this could be uh, something that lands them in a mental institution, something that lands them in jail, something that lands this person in, in something that they can't get out of. I'll say. Mm -mm. Wow. Yeah. This this person don't have no feelings. Okay, they lack empathy. They 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 lack a conscience. Okay, that's why God had to step in. This person would have kept hurting you or the intent is to still hurt you. They're dangerous. Okay? The two of swords <laughs> with the king of cups. How the fuck the most loving king? Okay, the king of cups, the king of cups. He's the most loving king. How he don't got no feelings with the two of swords? That's not normal. Unless he's in a reverse. He's not in a reverse here. He's in an upright. Okay. He has something going on with his emotions here. Period. He don't got no damn love. He don't have empathy. He didn't show you any empathy or, or love in this particular situation. Perhaps by him being the king of cups here, he was supposed to protect love and support you in some way. He denied uh, that. He denied, he denied to do that or he went against that. He kept you waiting. I'm telling you, the energies don't lie. He walked away from you. He made a poor choice by going in the other direction with somebody uh, that was extremely dark, perhaps. Perhaps perhaps he allowed his, his woman to attack you, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. They allowed someone to attack you, to hurt you, bro. They sat back and let it happen. They could have worked with them. This could be your ex for sure. False flame, love interest. They somebody ex here. This person sat back and let other people attack you, okay? That energy is here for a long ass time. They don't love you. They don't love nobody. They love money. You see? For the love of money here. You see the money? The Ace of Pentacles? They've been working hard to steal your abundance. You are the abundant. You are the abundance that they've been stealing from. It's kind of like, it, just think about you being the bank. And they've been coming into the bank every day, stealing a little bit at a time from the bank for years. From the from the bank for years here. The Seven of Pentacles lets us know this is years. When you see the Seven of Pentacles, just understand that's years. That's not months. That's not weeks. That's years. They've been pinching, okay, stealing, taking, scheming. They were hoping that some sort of hard work that they were put that they were putting in would come into fruition. They wanted your harvest. Okay. They wanted to rob you. Rob you of your harvest here. Your rewards. Your profits. Your results. Your manifestations. Okay. Your goals. Your inheritance. Things that you have been cultivating. Growing. Okay. Nurturing. Being patient and planning with. They were trying to. They, were, they wasn't trying. They were actively uh, working hard to take these things from you. Okay, new job is here. Self-employment is here. Building a business is here. My goodness. You're a very intuitive individual here. Very kind. Your energy and their energy is extremely different. You got a soft energy. Okay, they, they, they just don't. I see a sensitive individual that did not deserve this. 
I, I, I pick up on a quiet person, uh, quiet. You could be in a choir, okay? You could be a pastor, a preacher, okay? Yeah, I see a quiet individual that's dreamy, okay? Cooperative, introverted. You could be an introvert here. This could have been an extreme extrovert that attacked you here. Okay, you could be a psychic here, very emotional. You you are interested in learning about emotional issues here. My goodness gracious. It looks like they could be trying to make their way back to you. This person is extremely dangerous and they should be avoided at all costs. They have mental they have something within them wants to hurt you. It just does. You see the chariot? The chariot is here. With the page of cups, with the four of wands, this person is working hard to come to your house, okay, making plans to see you, approach you. It's very risky for them to even think about it, but the energy is here. They may have already tried to approach your house and they got into a wreck. They got pulled over by the cops. Their car broke down. This person needs to be in a mental institution or a, or a jail house, okay? You may have a, a restraining order against them you may have a restraining order against her. Okay. You see the Eight of Wands? That's that's what's going on here. They may not be actively planning to approach you, but they are actively sending spell work at your house. They may be driving past your house, uh, throwing up all kind of hexes, leaving dead animals outside your house, doing all kind of wicked shit. This could be somebody that lives in your community too. This could be th This could be between three and eight different people here. Okay, you can have people that uh, you work with that have been coming up against you. You can have people in your neighborhood that's been coming up against you. You can have people in your family that's been coming up against you. You can have exes that you haven't seen in years coming up against you. You can have people you never met a day in your life coming up against you. My goodness. This could be a cancer man, cancer woman. They got water in their chart. Yeah. Hmm. I see the ancestors here. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna be you're gonna be relocating here. You may have already recently relocated. It's something about you and this it's something about you and the spirit here, okay? They lost spiritual access to you. They don't know your spiritual rank. They don't rank high enough to even attempt to do what they've been attempting to do to you. All that is here. You got some good news coming. Just believe that. Just understand that. It's because you put the work in to receive. You've been you've been cultivating for a while here. You've been persevering. You've been patient for a while here. The energies just don't lie. Okay? Remember to take the message how it resonates. These people may be may have been attacking you. I see five months here, ten months here, five years, ten years. You're gonna be getting the money to get a house. It's here. New place. Okay. You may move to California. <laughs> okay. Take the message how it resonates. Dang. The justice energy backs me. This how they want you. This how they want you. The five of pentacles. Broke, busted, and disgusted. But that's not your energy. Look at your energy here. Look at your energy. The ten of pentacles. You see the energy? The Ten of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles. That's your energy. The Justice is saying, hey, these people tried to rob you blind. They put up a fight. They put up a, they put up a fight against something that rightfully belongs to, your, to you. They, they put up a fight against something that willfully and uh, honestly belongs to you. And they refuse to stop. They could still be refusing to stop today. They have, they have something going on with them, bro. This person has an insatiable desire to see you be hurt. That's not normal. It's just not. Okay. You don't need no medical doctor to tell you that. You know that ain't right. You know, you know that ain't right. You know the thoughts, okay? You know your thoughts. You know that shit ain't right. They still got this in their head. The Ten of Swords. <laughs> With the will of fortune being here, this is current energy. Even moving forward, this person still has malicious and malice in their heart when it comes to you or these people. 
is still here. Even moving forward, it's still here. This could be a male psychic that lost some sort of spiritual ranking, spiritual gifts, spiritual connection with you. My goodness. I see the two of cups. There's Archangel Gabriel. <laughs> Thank you, Father God, for Archangel Gabriel. I don't know who your divine masculine is. He could be a Sagittarius. He could be a Leo. He has fire in his chart. Period. He's the king of wands. Divine Feminine is the Queen of Cups. The energies don't lie. You're both gift, gifted givers. I don't know who your divine counterpart is, but you guys have been through some, you've been through some stuff here. Okay, he's getting some work done with his tires. Something about a, his tires on his car. Okay, but you guys have been through some stuff here. I think you, I think Divine Feminine could be a great ally. Okay, you could be a great ally, man, a great asset to have on your on anybody's team. Just it's just some some things are senseless. It's senseless. This is one of those things. It's senseless. It's extreme here. This is extreme. Extreme. This person needs to be in a mental hospital or uh in jail. They may already have died, okay? If they send in death death magic, death energy towards you that may be the health tower here that takes them on out of here it's really really sad here I'm fortunate, let's go ahead and close it out this could be a Sagittarius that did not believe in you you're self sufficient, you're independent I told you it's somebody from your past mm-hmm I see ancestors uh, wow your ex and his lover have been attacking you, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Take the message how it resonates. At some point, they were working with a lover to attack you or to stop you or to cause some sort of instability in your life. You may see your ex or your ex love interests or your mother or your father as the devil. Okay? They somebody mama. They somebody father. Okay? Period. They're trying to stop you from getting married. They're trying to stop you from having stability. They're trying to stop you from having life. This person doesn't want you to have life. They don't want you to uh, have life here. You, 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 you were having life before you met them, right? I'm pretty sure. Okay. <laughs> you were having life before they laid up and made 20 kids with 20 different women, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. This person wants to hurt an angel, bro. <laughs> it don't make sense. Well, I mean, if you think about... It, it makes sense if you think about the devil and, you know, how that works, okay? You don't give a shit about no angels, okay? This person don't give a shit about no angels, no love, no light, no compassion, no giving, no charity, no generosity. This motherfucker want to take, he want to rob, he want to destroy. Okay, she want to hurt, she want to injure, she want to wound, she want to cause great bodily harm to get something here. Uh-huh. They, they want to rob the bank. This person sees you as some sort of bank or cash cow or money opportunity here or opportunity to get some sort of money here. That's how they see you. Yeah, you may be 39 years old. You may have been born in 93, Divine Masculine. Divine Feminine may be 29 years old here. Yeah, this is a masculine energy. The number 11. The number 11 lets me know that it's a masculine energy from your past or somebody that's in your community currently that's been... A hidden enemy that's been attacking you. Ask God to show you your enemies. Don't be surprised when you see them in the dream. Okay? Don't be surprised when you keep seeing a certain person every day. You need to pray about that. That's no coincidence. Pray about it, baby. There's our Heavenly Father. I'm just saying. Yeah, he may be relocating you soon. If he tells you to go, go. Don't even think about it. I see I see the number 24. This feels like a community, community, community of people here. Your ex got a community to work together against you, or there's some people in your community, your community currently that could be working against you, or it could be a mixture of both. They could all just be a part of the same ass community. I mean, yeah, they are. They they all uh, are dark as fuck, mean as fuck, bitter as bitter as fuck, angry as fuck. So they do belong to the same community, the community of just bitter broke bitches. And I mean broke in a spiritual sense, period. They may be physically 
sickly looking or it's just a matter of time yeah <laughs> it's something about my goodness so there's an earth angel that's gifted I mean earth angels are extremely gifted it's sad it's, it's, it's basically it boils down to your anointing and your light they wanted to knock your light out here these demons these devils okay there's something about wicca that could be your religion okay tai chi yeah masons all that is here these people are under judgment i see archangel gabriel twice here archangel gabriel got the ten of wands on them okay they they they, they mess with the magic here okay god got an angel specific angel specific archangels uh that are making sure that these people pay period they're interfering with destiny here your destiny here okay god got you here they're interfering with your life so they got to get these archangels to redirect them i'm hearing a death angel they're scared of him very likely they probably wanted you to be but once again i don't feel like you should be divine feminine divine masculine why he protects you okay ask the archangel uh azrael to protect your crown okay he works with humans their crown the crown chakra okay i'm telling you the will of fortune and the king of wands and the eight of wands it's like god is putting these people to sleep god may have wiped their their memory of you or something going on with their mental they've been doing mental magic third eye magic third eye crown chakra magic all kind of stuff my goodness these people could be are they foreigners wow they're in their 40s they're in their 30s period these people were born in the 80s some some of them i told you they go that mean ass queen of swords there she go how do you know her is she a relative very likely you could know her or you may not but you may have some sort of association with her due to uh, she's a third party that's connected to a masculine that you may have known at some point so you don't know her okay she's been blocking you or attempting to block you why is she so mad you don't even know her <laughs> that's weird wow mm -mm. they're trying to take some sort of news back to the kingdom of darkness they were trying to get some sort of victory for the devil there's no victory for him i see 27 27 there's there's a queen of swords dark ass feminine energy that's facing some sort of ending too period she has the number nine in her energy nine nine in her energy to be exact that always correlates with some sort of ending she has a tower coming strong ass tower too that's gonna hit her family it's gonna rock her family this is coming from god here it's coming from him the sun card the sun card only confirms it it's just backs it this could hit her mother relative and her family this could hit her she could have a relative in her family double cross her uh or or trying to cross her out too it's only fair God sees that this person, this Queen of Swords, is still trying to attack you today because of an Emperor. Yeah, the Emperor with the Ace of Wands. Your new beginning with your masculine and your Two of Cups. So there's a dark ass Queen of Swords here too. My goodness. I feel like she's working with a masculine from your past, Divine Feminine. Divine Masculine. This could be some sort of uh, vengeance that your ex wife is, uh, you know, sending you with her lover. The energy is here. They're working together. There's some sort of partnership here. There's a queen of swords that's been trying to block your union. Period. Mm -hmm. The ten of pentacles with the two of the two uh <laughs> the two of pentacles. The star energy with the ten of ten of pentacles. She's trying to cause some sort of instability, imbalance to a very structured situationship, or a situationship that could be stable, aka a relationship that leads to a very stable marriage with your divine masculine she's trying to cause some sort of instability here she's a karmic this could be divine masculine's ex divine feminine you you getting hit from all angles dang divine feminine you could be 37 years old there's massive betrayal massive betrayal here these people could uh they could be involved with some sort of uh wreck on the highway where there's a pile up i'm just saying these people are foolish. 
moving forward, the energy is still, the energy is repeating itself as I close this message out. These people are not going to stop. It looks like there's always got, there's always somebody that's got some sort of issue with you. And it's kind of like, damn, Divine Feminine, you, you out the way. You put up somewhere. Divine Masculine, you put up. You're not even nowhere near these people. This is some weird ass shit. We must be living in the end times. Wow, these people want war. That's what it is. They got money for, for wars but can't feed the poor. These type of people. Tupac said it. You don't see these people feeding the poor, helping the poor. These people are trying to kill the poor, take the poor's destiny. Take the poor people's opportunities to have, fulfill their destiny here in life. That's what they're out here doing. Some of these people are on this weird ass shit. Yep, they got money for wars but can't feed the poor. I see 4-4. Four, four. They, they're not going to feed the poor. That's sad. They try... It's, 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 it's so sad when you think about it, collective. When you think about it. Think about some of these uh, basketball players that had uh, amazing potential to make it all the way. And then you have some idiot like this that sniffed their life out. Or they, they try to sniff sniff the person's destiny out before they can have an opportunity to fulfill it that's what's happening here divine feminine you may be diabetic they may want you to be it looks like uh moving forward they're still going to be causing or attempting to cause some sort of instability to your stable ass life or the life that you're trying to make stable they're still trying to shake it up and cause instability i feel like this is a couple it started with two people here Divine Feminine X, Divine Masculine X, and their lover. That's who started it. Every situation is different. This could be this could be this could be your cousin and his wife too. They started it. This could be your neighbor and his girlfriend. They started it. It feels like a domino effect from these two people right here. This is a very sick couple right here that came together. Right here in the world. Wow, I see the age of 37 significant here. They may have been attacking you since you were 37 years old. You may be meant to have a son here, a very, very prominent individual with the Ace of Wands. Wow. Your son will grow up to be the King of Pentacles. Financially stable, he's meant to be. Grounded, mature, okay. Very, very acclaimed. Um, prominent individual that's the ace of swords true wow they try to steal your baby here your spirit baby doesn't have to literally be a baby okay <laughs> it doesn't have to be a actual baby this could be your sudden wealth that's your baby they try to steal it they try to take it they try to uh stop you so you wouldn't it's kind of like it's kind of like somebody tried to force you to have an abortion a forced forced abortion or forced miscarriage. I spoke about this months ago. A difficult delivery, okay, where you're gonna have to have an emergency cesarean, you know, that type of energy, or some sort of catastrophic event that leads to a miscarriage of your child. Of your child, this, these people could literally want you to lose your baby too. Let's not talk. Let's not forget to mention that. Okay, I'm hearing. Let's not talk about it, but we got to talk about it because that's the energy. Okay, this could be an actual child here that they're trying to cause you not to be able to bring into this life that's meant to be brought into this life. <laughs> Looks like he's with Archangel Michael here in the spirit. Your spirit baby is a boy. Dang. My goodness. Watch out for these false flames. Watch out for getting watch out for getting pregnant. And you could have a false flame that try to get pregnant. You could get pregnant by him and you end up uh, you know, it wouldn't be a good situation. Perhaps this is your baby daddy who who happens to be your false flame. He's been in the background trying to destroy you. Take the message how it resonates. I see different people. Different people. There's your son right here. There he goes. You're meant to have him with your divine masculine. You just are. It feels like divine masculine got somebody on his end that's been trying to terrorize you, divine feminine. Um... Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine got somebody on her end. Divine Masculine got somebody on his end. Divine Feminine got an ex that's been trying to terrorize her and create life-altering 
situations for her and divine masculine he may as well it looks like divine feminine got hit on all angles here man <laughs> yeah divine feminine watch out for your ex he's gonna try to come back and if you let him come back he's gonna get you pregnant and that's gonna that's gonna lead to some sort of bad ending okay it's, it's like it's gonna be bad because the person wants to hurt you you see the five of pentacles there's some sort of brokenness the death with the five of pentacles say goodbye to your stability for good okay or you may have to go through a long ass cycle of hell you may have to go through 18 years of if you survive his ass okay he already been trying to hurt you i'm just saying the death with the five of pentacles that's that's not what you want to see so yeah if if you think about if you if you if you're not thinking and if you let your guard down and let him back in because he's watching you see the page of swords or they were or this could be some plan that they had the baby would have been an energetic supply for him or her it, it, it just would have been a rough pregnancy you may have been you, you, you may you, you could very well could have been sick okay the energy is here. It just would have been a bad situation. Or it could be if you let him back. He's a narcissist. He's a malignant narcissist. Okay? <laughs> Go study the malignant narcissist. This motherfucker cold as ice. He don't love you. She don't care. It's about having some sort of supply here. That's it. You may be at Walmart today in Paris watching these different messages. Okay? Remember, you're going to always get these type of messages because God wants to keep his people safe. You may not believe in tarot. You, you may not, okay? That's your thing. I'm not judging you. But if you're coming across this video, if you're coming across different videos like this, it's for a reason. There's just no coincidence. There's just no accident about it. You're meant to see something here. You may go to church and a preacher may preach the same, the same thing. Watch out for that ex, okay? He's up to no good. She's up to no good. They don't want to see you do well. You wonder why things are not flourishing. Your preacher may see, uh, he may know some stuff. God could put a word on him too. Okay? Don't go back to your ex. Leave him, on, leave him in the past. This person is mentally ill. They have an insatiable desire to see you be harmed. That is just not normal. Okay? And he thinks he has some sort of power to do it. And he don't. She don't. This may be somebody you haven't seen in four years. I see six years here. <laughs> in the background here with his lover here. Conspiring against you. I see a male cousin and I see a female cousin. A father figure is guilty and a mother figure. They're here. Your name may be Deborah. You may be a police captain, chief. You may be on the force. Your divine masculine may be on the force. Okay, he's a cop. You may be meant to marry a cop, divine feminine. Okay? You may already be with him. Look. A paramedic, a first responder. The energies don't lie. <laughs> there he goes. There's the cop right there. The chariot energy. Okay? I'm not going to make this much longer. You guys take care of yourself. Leave the exes in the past. If they come back towards you, they should be avoided. God bless.